you have entered the Cabillion HQ. Prepare for countdown. Live streaming in three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to Cabillion HQ. We're back. <laughs> we had a few technical difficulties, but that's okay. Here we are again. Um, today, we, our segment is going to be Lunch and Crafts with Friends. That's where we have some lunch. Do some arts and crafts with artists from the animation industry. My name is Justin. On the opposite side is Kaya. Hi. And in the center is our very talented guest, Amanda. Hello. So, Amanda, <laughs> yes. uh, today we're going to be uh, doing some sculpting and you're going to hopefully teach us how to sculpt. Is that correct? <laughs> I am going to do my best. Okay. I'm super excited and uh, yeah, we're cool. just going to jump in. Yeah, we're just going to jump in. Uh, just very briefly, Amanda currently works at Splash. Uh, what do you do uh, at Splash Entertainment? I design props and I also do color styling. So anything that moves in a scene, like a hairbrush or a vehicle, mm -hmm. I get to design that and then I get to color it. So it's pretty much a dream job. I pretty much. It doesn't feel like work. I just get to play Which all day. Which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you do a lot of art in your spare time too. I do. I used to be a vendor at Designer Con mm -hmm. and so I would create my own sculptures and then do the whole mold making and resin casting process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I like to do everything, all the, things art. Right. You know, draw, paint, sculpt. Um, but I've taken a little break from that just to kind of recalibrate. Yes. Except for today. Except for today. Where <laughs> you uh, want to show everyone what we're going to be yeah. doing or attempt to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we're limited on time. So yes. we're, we're right. speed, speed run this one. Speed run. You can see it over there. Yeah. So these are little narwhals. We're gonna try to do something like this. And, and I, you drew these yourself, correct? Yes, I did. They're very cute. Thank you. Yes. I just figured because the shapes are very simple, it might be a good yeah. starting point for beginners. Mm -hmm. It kind of looked, it reminds me of like the Cuphead game that we were playing, the, yeah. the animation style, very yeah. old school. Yeah, the old 1930s yeah. inkblot Yeah, Steamboat type. Mickey and inkblot stuff. Um, so I surprised you earlier that we actually got super sculpty, but uh, for people who don't know, <laughs> Uh, there's two different types of Sculpey that you can get. There's actually a cu couple of different ones. There's colored ones there's, and glitter, there's many glitter ones. But uh, yeah. you highly recommend getting the Super Sculpey. And you're kind of getting into yeah. that earlier. Um, as you divvy this up, you want to explain the differences or why you sure. want to use this? Or, here you go. Um, so the original Sculpey, it's, it's great, I think, for little kids. <laughs> You know, because it's it's really easy to work with. It's it's malleable. It's non toxic. Um, but if you want something that is gonna last a little bit longer, it's a good idea to get the super sculpey. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more durable once it's baked. Yeah. Yes. And the special thing about sculpey, as opposed to clay mediums that you use, is what that they stay soft longer or. Uh, sculpey is great because it's just. It's kind of a one-stop shop. You can sculpt it, and then you can bake it, and you can paint it. Whereas, say, a sulfur-based clay or a wax-based clay, you have to have an additional step of making a mold and then oh. casting it in resin. Oh, wow. So you can just do it all with... So you can just do it all. Oh, perfect. With this. It's good for what we're doing. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll do mold making another episode. Okay, later. cool. <laughs> um, so what's the first step? What do we do? Um, I know you have a bunch of tools on the I table have a bunch that of terrifies tools. me. Um, how I like to start, because it is very soft, Yes. it needs a structure underneath. Okay. So aluminum foil is a really great, inexpensive way to create an armature. And so the initial sculpture is actually going to be out of the foil. Um, so armature is? An armature is a structure underneath a sculpture. It's kind of like the sculpture's skeleton. OK. Um, you can do it with wire. You can do it with just about anything but you have access like to. But this is like very affordable. This is affordable. It's a sheet it's, of aluminum. It's great because you're going to bake the Sculpey anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And aluminum foil is good in an oven. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. See, this is how it's. Fun. So you just roll into a ball. Yeah, you just just play. So you're gonna make kind okay. of the narwhal shape. And okay. It's kind of bulbous. 
So you want a big belly kind of thing. Yeah. Do we need to worry about the horn? Is that not, we don't need to worry about that. I don't, I don't think at this point we need to <laughs> worry about that. But it's, you need more, okay. by all means. So are we, like, are we trying to get a, a body here? Yeah, or? so what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm doing the head. Uh -huh. well, how big are we making these? About this size or okay. smaller, whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't know, and I've never done this before. <laughs> I feel like I need to give it somewhat of a tail. Yes, like yeah, a, a tail is a great idea. So, like, how am I doing so far? You've, you've, you've got a shape. Yeah, is it a good <laughs> shape? Do I need me to make the head bigger, I feel? You can, if you want the head bigger. I would start to curve it. Okay. I mean, it, if you want the narwhal to be kind of just... No, 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 like, no, 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 no. no I you, want... you don't have to do what I'm doing. You I'm can going do your to... own thing. I can. <laughs> But not very well. I need this as a guide. Okay. So, kind of looks like a whale now. Yeah. Well, that's good. He's, He's like a family. He's like a unicorn yeah, whale. Kind of. Or a shrimp. Well, <laughs> once you put a horn on him, then yeah. you can call him whatever you want. A unicorn shrimp. Okay. Um, can I have another piece? Yeah. I feel like I this head is needs to be bigger. So where did you learn about uh, sculpting in the first place? Uh, I have been sculpting for a very long time, since I was a kid. Uh -huh. um, I had some water-based clay. I think that was the first clay I ever used because I saw it in a craft store and yeah. made my mom buy it by <laughs> crying a lot, <laughs> as some children will do. And it wasn't the Crayola stuff? It was not the Crayola stuff. It was. This messy old water clay. Yeah. Uh, and I just fell in love with it. And so throughout elementary and junior high and high school, I found different types of clay, like Sculpey. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I went to college is when I actually had instruction on what I was doing and yeah. learned about armatures uh, and yeah. the, the stuff that takes you up the next level of it. Yeah. From, uh, from from the pinch pot. <laughs> Your pinch pot. <laughs> I took a ceramics class in like middle school. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I love ceramics. Yeah. I was kind of always terrible with the wheel, though. I it's you know very I put tough. my hand through every single thing I ever but, tried to. So you prefer sculpting do. just with your hands? Yes. Yeah. Get more of a feel of it. It's much easier for me to do um, addition based. Sculpting as opposed to taking away. Uh, okay. All right, so when do we know that we're ready for the next step? Is my Whenever, question. <laughs> I don't know when what do I'm supposed you to feel. feel. It's just kind of when you feel ready. Like, I, mean, I kind of feel ready to start. Yeah, I just wanted to get a nice head structure. Yeah. Because we can always add a little bit more on the clay, correct? Yeah. For features and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it, it's really about having fun and playing with it and yeah. not not trying to be perfect. Well, that's difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult for me, too. Yeah. Perfectionism. Yeah. 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 It's good for my job as an editor. Like, I need everything to be frame accurate. <laughs> but this is a whole different ball. Yeah. Ball game. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so what are you doing? So right now I'm just going to lay... And it's really creepy with the flesh color. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's looking more like an earthworm. Yeah. A really fat earthworm. So do we just do it in layers or strips? Yeah, I like to do it in layers. Okay. And so n now once... Yeah, you let me know if I'm doing something completely terrible. <laughs> as long as you're not bleeding, I think... You're on the right track. Well, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, uh, I actually have a fear of aluminum foil because I uh, always tend to slice my hand. Oh, on the oh, carton? On the, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done we'll just before. move this out of the way <laughs> now. Yeah. But just we'll for Kaya's safety. Yeah, right. Apparently, I can't adult very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you taught people how to sculpt before? Or is this going to be your first time? Uh, this is the... Well, I have... Uh, it's informal. Informal? Informally, I have okay. taught uh, my friends, children, at varying times, 
how to do simple sculptures and yeah. use armatures and then I have sat with friends and we've sculpted at the same time which is fun yeah you learn new things okay this is starting to not look what I thought it was gonna look like <laughs> <laughs> And we just do it around the entire armature? Yeah, side? just you're covering the foil right now. Okay. And getting a nice base layer. Yeah. So when you bake it, you're actually baking it with the armature inside. Yes, yeah. Because Sculpey and Super Sculpey, when you bake it mm -hmm. and it heats up, it actually releases a little bit, so it starts to um, deflate a little bit it okay. starts to just lose its form so if there's not anything underneath it it can flatten out mm -hmm. it can make a weird bend and the hardening comes as it cools uh, oops <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame we don't have an oven here, but I will take these home and bake them so we can see how they look. They all turn out. Uh, can you bake it in any oven, or does this have to be a kiln? No, you can bake it in any oven. Okay. I've used toaster ovens Toaster well. ovens, yeah. okay. You just got, have got to, one of those. to be uh, cautious of how close the sculpture is to the heating coil. Because uh, it uh, can bubble up and burn. Oh, lovely. Yeah, FYI. <laughs> Um, do you have a specific theme you like to sculpt, or...? I like creatures. I like to do little critters. Um, a lot of my stuff bridges on creepy and cute. It'll okay. Be, it'll, it, it might be a cute monster that has horns or teeth that you're not quite sure if he's friendly or yeah, not. Yeah, because I think we were talking about this earlier, but you're kind of a fan of horror movies, right? Yeah, I grew up watching a lot of horror movies. Yeah. Thanks, wow. Dad. <laughs> 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 uh, so that influenced me a, a great deal. But I also love Tim Burton and, yeah. you know, Monty Python, so there's usually a humorous element involved as well. Mm. So I was talking to um, Leonard mm -hmm. when I was having the, the interview, and um, I asked him uh, who inspired him in his family to be an artist. Uh, was there someone in your family that was also very artistically inclined? I'm curious now because he had like a direct line from artist to artist to artist. Yeah, I did not. Oh, really? <laughs> that, um, my dad, though, is a a builder, so he was okay. the dad that would build I'd the birdhouses. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty creative. <laughs> yes, yeah, but as far as the drawing and painting, nobody really knows where that came from. I just started doing it as like yeah. a four-year-old. I just started drawing, and wow. yeah, that was that was my thing. I was so you were love. drawing and sculpting, and yeah, just so, constantly creating things. Yeah. And then. At some point in your life, you're like, "Hey, I want to do this as a as a as a dream job." Yeah, I, I you know, I had two paths that I was considering. Mm -hmm. The one of being a veterinarian because because I love animals yeah. mm -hmm. a lot, and then one of being an artist. And I was veering towards the veterinarian for almost my entire time in school. And then my senior year, I had kind of a revelation that... Was this a senior year in high school? In or? high school, oh, yeah. Okay. I, I would always love animals, mm -hmm. um, but if I didn't keep pursuing art, I was going to lose it. Because oh, wow. I knew it was something that if you don't practice every day, it goes away. Yeah, and you'd fill up all that knowledge with medical yes, target. Yeah, which, you know, I love science and yeah. I, like, I like dissecting things, so... Um. Yeah, I wonder if that has the, something to do with the horror movie stuff. I know. It, it all I love of, taxidermy. <laughs> it kind of works together. Yeah. 
Maybe it's better you're not a vet so you don't get all the cats that hiss at you and the right. dogs. Yeah. You start probably not liking I, I certain breeds of animals. Yeah, my cat. Making judgments. Yeah. My cat has a. All right, so I have a basic horns. form here. Uh, what do I do from here? So is now, this horrendous? It's like, not horrendous. It is whale shaped. Yeah, I feel like the head is bigger. Shape. You can make it bigger if I could you want. Make it bigger. Um, so what do I do from here? So it's kind of a process <laughs> of, of adding and refining. Yeah. And so you... I see that you're already starting to sculpt away. <laughs> you are really quick. <laughs> I, I'm just going for it. Yeah. I know that, you know, time is limited, so yeah, so we I'm had trying to quicken my pace because right. I'm kind of pokey. If I have all the time in the world, I'm going to use it. Uh -huh. How long do you usually take um, to make a... I mean, these are one-offs, correct? Yeah. So you can't make molds off this? Yeah, I could make a mold. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What's the process of that? It would be taking the final sculpture mm -hmm. and then creating some sort of structure around it, like a box, some sort of walled structure, yeah. and then you pour in silicone. And like a silicone resin kind of thing? Uh, yeah, like a, it, I forget what it's, <laughs> the technical terms uh -huh. for it, but yeah, kind of like caulking, like the caulking you use. Oh, like okay, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it has a, a hardener a catalyst in it, and you let it sit for eight hours or overnight, and mm -hmm. then you, ha you pop the original out of the mold, and then you can start casting. How do you get the original out of the mold? Very careful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd just break it. Uh, you can cut it out. You can okay. cut it along a, you decide where you want it seam. Yeah, okay. And then cut along that line. And it should hold its form. It, yeah. And then I guess you fill that with whatever material you're going to be using to make the, the duplicates. Yeah, I use a polyurethane resin. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I got something going on. How are you doing, Kaya? Wow, yours <laughs> is a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, You're gonna I'm, have to use, I'm kinda struggling. You probably have to use more clay. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> yeah, you went crazy big. <laughs> I wanted a big head. <laughs> That's, That's good. I know, I went all small and modest. You know what, it might be better for the time given. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a half completed one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could just do one side and be like, that's yeah. it, and yeah. then you duplicate the other don't side. Don't look. Don't look on the other side. <laughs> Which is something that I do. Uh, we usually, you know, bisect it and then mm. work on half and then use the half that I've done first to okay, make the Okay, so half. if I want to start to get a shape going mm -hmm. uh, with a tool, which tool would I use? I like to use it Doesn't have to be yours, it could be one of these. That, are, that kind of flatten. Uh -huh. Because you're laying things down and then, okay. you know, can kind of so, smooth it out. Right. Because I kind of want get, to get that little that little bump. Yeah, you can use that. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Because I don't. <laughs> you can take this tool. Yeah, what's this? Th these, are, these are nice. They have them at Michael's. Okay. I don't know that they're technically sculpting tools. A lot of my tools are uh, old dental tools. And like and that's why they look so scary. That's why they look yeah. terrifying. Is what is that? Is that really a dentist tool? This is not. These are calipers. So okay. Yeah, it horrifies if, me. It's, it's <laughs> measuring like, for people who don't like numbers. Mm. Um, oh, if I wanted okay. to make sure something was the right size, okay. see? It's not the right it's not size. A, it's not as scary. Not as big. How's mine? But, oh, let's, let's see. You have eyeballed this. Yeah. A little better. A little better. I can add a little more. But I use these often when I'm doing uh, parts of the body that are symmetrical, like the eyes or mm -hmm. for this guy, the fins, would I would want them to be the same size. Yeah. So you went to school. I um, didn't go to school. Uh, you didn't go to school? I, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you got your degree in what? In industrial design. And then, after that, how did you get into the animation studio that you're currently working on? I had a very long and windy road to end <laughs> up in animation. Uh -huh. uh, most of it was entertainment related. Okay, it's the same theme. Thing. Same, same theme. Yeah. 
Um, I started out, when I came out, I really wanted to do special effects makeup mm -hmm. and sculpt makeups. Yeah. Like monster makeup. Like monsters. Just, we'll just say. Let's just call it what it is. You want to do movie monster makeup. <laughs> I did. I wanted to make sweet werewolves. Yes. Uh, but then I somehow ended up in graphic design just out of necessity. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I did illustration. Then I worked in live action. Oh, what you do in, uh, oh, okay. What'd you do exactly for live action? Because that was kind of my background. I did live action before I ended up here. I worked on some, I, I don't even know if they ever made it to air. <laughs> it's usually Honestly, most of the productions I've done. <laughs> I've worked on a lot of things that nobody's ever seen. Yeah. But, you know, art department's great. I got to paint murals and just do weird sculptures uh -huh. and uh, and more graphics, 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 graphics. And then I decided that um, art department was a little tough for me physically because there is a lot of furniture moving and I don't oh, have... Oh, that's part of your that, job? That was part of my job and Jeez. not having a lot of upper body strength, <laughs> I thought, ah, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, and then an opportunity came up here, actually, to mm -hmm. test for a color stylist. And I thought, I'm never going to get this, mm -hmm. but I'll do the test. And then I did, and they took a chance on me. Oh, and you've been very successful, I think. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun here. Yeah. They keep uh, putting me on shows. So. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good sign. I think it's a good sign. I don't know. <laughs> doing but I'm just trying to get some wrinkles just pretend pretend you know what I you're am doing. pretending that's, that's that's what this is really about art's all about pretending it you is. know what you're doing you just fake it yeah exactly and if, if, if you don't get it then mm, you're not really an artist are you <laughs> just give it a thinking title <laughs> so do you have any specific goals I mean I know you've worked in different types of mediums like almost every type of medium <laughs> uh or do you want to continue doing what you're doing? I love what I do. Yeah. I'd like to keep going doing it. Mm. I'd like to do m more varied things in it. You know, I would love to try to do storyboard. Oh, so expand your skill set. Yes, okay. definitely. Have you done storyboard? I have. I took classes. I have oh. not officially oh. done any. Uh, we'll have to spread the word around that you have uh, new skills. <laughs> right? Shh, don't say that too loud. <laughs> uh, You'll never leave. <laughs> but I, you know, I have a love of stop motion and have over the years attempted several short films. Uh -huh. And I just hopefully someday one of those will actually get off the ground. Your short films? Yeah. How long are they? Around four and where minutes. can I find them? Nowhere, because they're not done. You didn't put no. on your website? Oh, they're not done yet. No. Oh, it's Ooh. still a work in progress. Lots of works in progress. <laughs> so much to do, so little time. Yeah, and you know, I think of sometimes artists try to do everything themselves. Oh yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, so if I can figure out how to ask people for help, I think things might go a little quicker. <laughs> so you've had a lot of different clients, I imagine. Um, mm -hmm. What's like the weirdest or the coolest thing they someone asked you to create for them? I had to make a doll head once. A doll head? A doll head, like a G.I. Joe doll head oh, okay. based on a client. Yeah. Wait, using his actual face? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so I, he wanted his own G.I. Joe doll. Yes. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I still I still don't know why. Yeah. I don't ask a lot of questions. No. I just do. I just do. Yeah. If people ask something, I, I say yes. I say, if I can help you, <laughs> I will. If that's your dream. Yeah, I'm, I'll make it happen. I, but, uh, I will do my best. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Stay up at night and wonder. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? 
that doesn't come until after it's delivered. And I'm yeah. like, what did I just do? Yeah. So can I add that to my resume? Like. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that <laughs> nobody's ever going to know that I had a hand in that. Yeah. So what do you do when you're not doing art? Uh, when I'm not doing art... Which I'm sure is, like, never. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to dance, so I take dance classes. Where do you take... Do you have a cardio bar, or...? I take ballet. So it is kind of like cardio bar. It's kind of. <laughs> yeah. It, it, there is a bar. There is a bar. And there is cardio. Yeah. How long happens. have you been doing ballet? Uh, this round of it, about three years. Oh, wow. Yeah, and... I'm on point, which is just a bizarre feeling. Yeah, I bet. And every time I do it, I'm like, why am I doing this? This is so very painful. But it makes you so happy. It does. Yeah. It does. I think it's a lot important people... to push the body yeah. and kind of see how far you can go with it. Yeah. I think I made the tail really long. That's all right. It looks like a tail. It does look yeah, like a tail. I'm doing well. Yeah. Uh, where was that smoothing tool? Thank you. Yeah. Okie dokie. So I got a question for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> do you always sketch out what you want to draw before you sculpt, or sometimes you just pre sculpt it? I always have some sort of sketch. Uh -huh. Um, but I don't, unless it's for a client, mm -hmm. I don't hold myself to trying to make it look exactly like the sketch. So it's more of a reference. Yeah, it's an idea. Okay. It's, it's a jumping it's off like, point. It's like, oh, this, this would look nice. Yeah. If I got close to it. <laughs> it's something I would like, but then often, you know, when you're in the yeah, space of creating of art, uh, different things happen and there's a little magic involved and yeah. it can take a different turn that ends up being really fun yeah so i want to allow for that okay so many tools i don't even know what, what the best thing to use would be yeah i have probably 60 or 70 tools and i end up Whoa. using about five <laughs> I have my favorites, but then I also have different tools for when I'm using different types of clay and different sizes. Mm -hmm. So these are for this small stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the finer detail. Do you prefer going big or going small? I usually work small. Uh. Um, occasionally I like to challenge myself to work a little bigger, mm -hmm. but Often because of time constraints, like if I'm trying to do something for a gallery show, I might not have the amount of time I need to do something really large. Yeah. So I'd rather do something small and really cool as opposed to large and kind of halfway there. I feel like I'm there. To start cutting into the tin foil. <laughs> you can do that too. Really? Like if you decide the foil is not. Uh, yeah. What's a good tool for that? This is sharp. Okay. Don't cut myself. Yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> we'll cut the feed <laughs> if I start bleeding everywhere. But then it's a Monty Python yeah. sketch, sketch, and that's... It's only a scratch. It's but a flesh wound. Yeah. Come back here, I'll bite your bloody legs off. I'm trying to scrape away. I don't know if I'm using the right tool for this. We can use, um, sometimes loops are good mm. if you want to start to take yeah, away. Yeah. Okay. Loop to loop. Yeah, I kind of want to just get the mouth structure going. I'm probably doing everything out of order. It's all a process. Yes, but is it the right process? <laughs> it's about the journey, Justin. Yes. It's about the journey. The journey of my creation. <laughs> Everyone online's gonna laugh about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is massive. Yes. I, I think also you just heard quite the. Lopsided. 
I think you just heard the whale part and went just full whale. You could go <laughs> full whale. Yeah. You just went full whale. Oh, you gotta do you what you what? gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> one of my one of my sides is extremely lopsided, <laughs> but that's okay. Nothing's that's right. perfect. You can squish it around. So he's got kind of a very like a, almost no bottom lip, and like this big top lip. I'm trying to get that going. I think I need more of a nose. Does this sound about right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours yeah. is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yours is really good. <laughs> I'll turn it towards the camera so you can actually see it. Um, yeah. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. So what do you feel is like the most important tool that you use for the sculpting? If you had to, have, if you had to pick one. Ooh. That's tough. Uh, like the one you use the most. I would say that this one is my favorite uh, of all of them because yeah. it has this splayed end where I can smooth things, and then it has a pointy end. Ah, multi-purpose. Yeah. Gotta get that. So he's kind of. Are you going for the middle one or the one on the right? I'm going for the middle one. Yeah, yeah, I was going for that too. It looks so cute. <laughs> I know, I wanted to, I don't know. It's going to be the sh the some shape. sort of amalgam of all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, that a, was that a snort? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever like... Just hated everything that you're doing and just scrapped it. Oh, yeah. Out of frustration. I, I learned um, many years ago uh -huh. that when I get frustrated and feel that, to get up and walk away because I have completely ripped sculptures apart. Oh, no. Because I've gotten frustrated. Yeah. It's like, this is not working for yeah. me. Yeah. Or, and I know when I'm doing it too. I'll just like, I'll have the tool it. and I'm like, yeah. and then I'll just gouge it and then pull <laughs> and then throw it. I'm not perfect. I'm very flawed as a human. <laughs> but not as but, an artist. Yeah. Very good. So that would be my tip for anyone starting out in sculpture. Yeah. If you get too frustrated, just walk away for a little while. You can come back to it mm -hmm. with fresh eyes. I'm trying to get this cheek bit right here and I for the life of me nothing's working like I, I feel like I'm giving him a dimple but it's not really a dimple it's just like a cut in his cheek what am I doing wrong everything <laughs> like I'm trying to mold it back out but how do you get that nice little cheek swirl like that. yeah yeah I would take a piece and kind of build it up mm -hmm. uh, the, th the thing with Skilby is when you're working with it and you're handling it, it can get a little warm. Yeah. And then it starts to get a little mushy. Yeah, that's what happened. And yeah. it just kind of melted away. Yeah. So then you could try to sit it on the table um, and work that way. So you're touching it a little bit less. Uh -huh. Hmm. So, hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll do this towards the camera, so... Please do. Try. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little backwards <laughs> for me. Okay, it's starting to get a little better. Let's see. Not perfect, though. Put the lighting. And he's kind of got like this little. <laughs> <laughs> You're awfully no quiet over there, Kaya. <laughs> I'm concentrating. She's quietly laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Mocking us. Oh, I kind of gave him like an American dad kind of chin. That's fine. <laughs> it's yours. That's, I guess that's where I'm going. Yours. Yeah, I, that's where I'm going now. That's what I'm going to be doing. Big bottom lip. Big chin. Big chin.
He's a man's man. See, this is the magic happening. Yep. Getting into it. So this is your first time ever? Yeah. Sculpting? Yeah. Wow. What about you, Kaya? Yes, it is also my first time sculpting. I'm more of a painter or a digital artist. I kind of just do art for fun, and I don't do it near enough to actually get skill. <laughs> but I do enjoy the process, and I really appreciate art in general. Like, I have art literally all over my wall in my, in my room. It's just covered. There's not a bare space of wall. Like, I hate blank walls. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Oh, you don't like staring into nothingness? No. <laughs> I guess my mind needs to constantly be distracted. I don't know what it is. No. This is interesting. This, I was not expecting this. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of... He, he looks very happy. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if I should do teeth. Do you do teeth on yours? Or is it is it better to just do a tongue? It's Only whatever you want. Sonic teeth. No. <laughs> a thousand times no. <laughs> If I want to horrify people, sure. Maybe that's what you can do. You can do a sculpture of Sonic. Yeah. Life-size Sonic. <laughs> life-size? Well, I, did, I, I mean, live-action live action Sonic. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, they're supposedly redesigning him. Hopefully. He's very tall. Right He's now. tall and got freakishly human teeth. And among other things. There's, there's many things happening there. There are many things happening. Um, you can... Yeah, so what's the best thing that you think I should do? You Just can put tongue. teeth. I mean, he looks pretty happy if you want to do, like, a big smile. I was thinking a tongue that. or something, just kind of popping out like that. Yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> You're such an enabler. I'm an encourager. <laughs> At least I'd like to think of it that way. Um. <laughs> yeah, rather than a... <laughs> enabler. A poor influence. Mm. It's like, wow, I was almost done and almost finished, and it looked really good, and I destroyed it all because <laughs> I was told it needed teeth. Because someone told me to. Yeah. Is that too thin of a tongue? I would maybe add more. Right there, right? There yeah, yeah, I was thinking To give it more of a... Fleshiness. A, a, a V-shape. Yeah. It's, I think I don't know what tongues look like. <laughs> Supposed to. Are we not? It's kind of weird, like staring at tongues. Do you, do do you, you need that? me to model it? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. That happens a lot, as I, I know a lot of other artists. We use ourselves as models. Yeah, you look in a mirror. We get stuck. Yeah. Yeah, because I've never taken one of those. Um, uh, what do they call them? Life drawings or whatever? Mm -hmm. Never done that. Leonard was talking on, on about that, how important it is to know muscle structure and among other things. But it's just really hard to do stuff without any sort of reference. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, I'm basing this on other people's interpretation of what the human body actually looks like. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's like at least two degrees of separation, probably three. Does that make sense? It does. Good, because when I said it, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> it's also nice to have, you know, a model there because you can see shadow and light and how it plays on. Yeah, the, definitely. The figure. All right. Is it gonna bake properly if it's hanging a little off the sculpture like that? Yeah, that should be fine. I would go under here and fill it in a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Just to give it more Just, support. Yeah, a little bit. I felt thicker. like it was going to fall off. I'd be like, no, the tongue. Not the tongue. It's the, it's the thing that you know, completes it. <laughs> They'll be like, wow, that tongue. That, that's, that's the focal point that's of your sculpture. Point, sculpture. Narwhal tongue. Yes, I call this one tongue. And does the tongue line go all the way down? No, it's just like, just like that, right? Yeah, that looks yeah. great. Blech. 
How's yours turning out? Wow, that is super good. How do you? Mm. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. Sorry, good. sorry. I will. Uh... Yeah, come on, mess it up a little. Oh, Makes that looks like a terrifying goldfish. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> I like his wee beady eyes. <laughs> yeah, what's the best way to do eyes in this situation? Is it to add or to subtract? It depends on the effect that you would want. If it's um, one cartoony big eye like that. I mean, you could... I mean, obviously make an eyebrow first to kind of give it that shape that you want it to do. If... Because this, for me, I would... I want it to be raised out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to lay in where the eye would be. Be. So kind of like what I'm doing right now. Yeah, just kind of drawing it in. Yeah, and then do, what do you do? Fill it in or fill it out? Kind of like add on top, kind of make a second layer, make the eyes bulge, or do you want indentation? For what we're doing, at least. For what we're doing, it's going to be a little bit of both because okay. I like to have a little indentation around the eyes. Yeah. Just to add a little depth to it. Gotcha. Um, but then... How long does this normally take you when you're sculpting? I mean, sculptures can take me days to weeks, depending on how... Oh, so we're kind of speed running this. Yeah. <laughs> this is really fast for me. Okay. Because sometimes no I can get no pressure. stuck. But we have a time limit. Yeah, no pressure, but really, <laughs> yeah. hurry it up. Yeah, hurry it up, because we're almost done. Speed this, speed this up. Speed this puppy up. And I guess um, we we could do a follow up video and just show how everything turned out. That would be great. Yeah. Yes, we can paint them. Oh my goodness, what a great idea! That should be another show. You can come back and we can it's, paint them. It's it's a continuing. <laughs> yeah. And then we can mold them. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Then we can take them to a convention and sell things. Why not? We know we I've have just... a store oh. on Amazon. Yes. We could sell it. You could. All right, so I kind of got stupid eyes right here. Oh. Um, oh, I see what you're doing. So yeah, you really I are just, building out. I built it out because yeah. it is more um, cartoony. cartoony. So figured. it doesn't have to, you know, have an eyelid. Just, yeah, okay. This is a, it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you expect like to we just couldn't magic do, it? Yeah, like finger pain. Couldn't we just do something like a turkey? I could do a, a really good turkey. I no. would I would find a way to make turkeys more complicated. A okay. hand turkey. Yeah. Because that's, that's what I like turkey. to do. To overcomplicate things. Yes. Yeah. Maybe Perfect. we can add lights to it. Ooh. Some LEDs. Yeah, why not? I want eyebrows to go say, what? <laughs> it's tricky because I don't want the tool mark to show us. I have to rub it in afterwards. Yeah, it's a lot of smoothing. Yeah. Sculpting is a lot of smoothing. And I still don't have his head yes. shape proper, but I can always fix that, I guess. Yeah, um, with Sculpey, if it gets too hot and soft, you can put it in the freezer for a little while mm -hmm. and harden it up, or you can use the air duster. If you turn it upside down and spray it, it will freeze it. Mm. These are just helpful little tricks that I've learned along the way. Yeah. Instead of uh, smashing into little pieces. Yeah. It's pretty good. I I'm finding different ways to uh, cook yeah. with things. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you doing for the actual iris? So I'm just doing that nice the little Pac-Man. The little Pac-Man eye. Yeah, okay. Now the Pac-Man, if I was, so it would be on the left and then the right. Is that how it works? I. Or is it both left? Yeah, both, both left. left. Both left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause, okay. Cause I know how eyes work. I don't. <laughs> I know eyes. I have them. Kind of. 
Kinda. I don't have cartoon eyes. Oh. I was going to say, is there something that you're not telling us? <laughs> These are marbles. I know. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Fancy marbles. I know. A blind man uh, sculpting. That'd be very impressive. It would be very impressive. <laughs> this is not as cool as yours. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong, <laughs> Justin. So is there a specific paint or something you have to use after um, baking these? Uh, acrylic paints work really well. I actually like to use the really cheap folk art craft type paints <laughs> <laughs> that are 99 cents because they dry really matte. Oh, so you want more matte as opposed I to glossy like look? I like matte, yeah. But if you like glossy, you can always use well, like, Liquitex or Could you any mix of and match? Like if you want a matte body, but like you want the tongue to be glossy, is that something you could do? Yes, you can do that. Um, you can use different types of finishers, like a, a matte spray or a gloss coat. Mm -hmm. You can do oil washes. There's really a lot of ways oil washes huh? yeah those are those are great to make things look very fancy without a lot of effort He's an angler fish. Yes, I've decided oh, to okay. add this a little That's, bit. See? Wow. Magic. I love it. You You're doing really good for <laughs> both of you are for never having sculpted before. Uh, thank, thank you. I feel like being like a, surrounded by artists kind of forces me to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> to up your game. Yeah, I gotta up my game. Absorbing I don't be, our power. Like I'll be embarrassed, but I don't want to be too embarrassed. All started somewhere. It's true. But there's a few years, just a few years of experience difference. You know? <laughs> My eyes kind of look like fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> like this one right here on the right. Oh, wow. Kind of looks like a fortune cookie. He's the, he's the fortune whale. Yeah. He's well, right now he's he looks more like a fish, but I haven't added. Where's that loop? Loop. So, let me screw it this way. With the advent of 3D printers, what are your feelings on that? Does it, is it taken away from what you do as a sculptor? Is it just completely different? It's not even close to what it should be, or? Uh, I have worked painting toy prototypes, which have, which have come off of 3D printers. Uh -huh. um, I think it's amazing technology. Yeah. And it's, I love, the fact that you can sculpt something digitally, one size, but then print it out as any size that you want it. Oh, right. That's... Which traditionally you can't do. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, if a lot of times in the Odin days, <laughs> if uh, someone Before wanted technology. to do a big sculpture, they would start with a very small maquette and kind of work everything out. Yeah. And then t use that to make the larger version and now you can just sculpt it and then print it out whatever size you want it and I think that's amazing. I started to learn ZBrush because you know I don't want to get left behind <laughs> and it's a it's a great tool yeah. and I think if you already have traditional sculpting abilities it is it pretty only enhances easy. It. It, yeah. So you would say it doesn't replace but it enhances if you have the skill. Yeah, it doesn't re replace the artistry of it. Right. It's okay. just another tool that you can add to yeah. your toolbox. Yeah, just makes things a little bit easier. Yes, and faster. Yeah, because, mass production. Yeah, and also just sculpting. You sculpt half, you can mirror it, and then kind of throw some asymmetry on it so it doesn't look perfect. And yeah. Then you yeah. know, you have your sculpture, sculpture in a very fast time. Yes. Kind of.
kind of like what we need right now. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm still working on the the half method, so half of this is gonna look great, and the other half is probably gonna get done later. <laughs> what other half? <laughs> the other side. Oh. There's the oh ugly my. side, but then there's the sweet side. Because that looks side. great. Yeah. yeah, this side looks really good. Something's not right about these eyes. Like I got one eye that's okay. The other one's just. I think I made it too big. I feel like smashing into pieces. Don't do it. I know. You, you'll, you'll regret it. Mm, so tempting. Yeah, years from now, you wish you had that narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I didn't smash it. Does he have a nose? Mm. Mm. He's got like a little Lip nose. lippy thing happening. Very lippy. He's very lippy. <laughs> like how she turned it into an anglerfish. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty scary already, so I might <laughs> Fully it. embrace it. Yeah. yeah. It, that, that's what it wanted to be, Kaya. Yeah. I guess, maybe that's what it was telling me the whole time. Right, you just have to listen to the clay. Oh, Oh, they have flippers. Oh, dear. That's why mine looks like a fish. Um... Fish have flippers too. He looks so happy. Doesn't he? Yeah. I feel like he still needs teeth though. <laughs> Put some teeth in there. Ah, that's too much work. I don't have time for that. <laughs> also, his eyes are just not doing it for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Not doing it. What am I not doing right then? <laughs> You're figuring it out. Yeah. It's, that, I, I think can feel that's, the limitations. For me, what is so appealing about sculpture as opposed to drawing and painting, mm -hmm. which I love, but when you have clay, it's this process of figuring it out. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, you add a little more. Yeah, and it's, it's not as final until you're ready. Yeah, yeah. and it's easier to see things in three dimensions when they are in three dimensions right. as opposed to a flat page. Yeah, and I, like already knowing what the perspective's gonna be. Yeah. yeah. So with the fins, where am I putting it? Is this where it's supposed to be? I put mine towards the front because I just wanted to. Mine's turning into like a seal. That's cool. <laughs> 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 Is that why you want to add teeth to him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants to be he a seal. He wants to be a seal, and I didn't even think yeah, about he's it. He's telling you. Yeah. He's a loose seal. Is that his name? Lucille? Yeah, I just love the rest of development reference. <laughs> and also, I was watching some Dive Ollie Dive. Oh, yeah. And there is a character called Lucille. Lucille. I was like, isn't that from Dive? That's also from Dive. Lucille. Mm-hmm. How big are slippers? I mean, it is, it, if I kept it, this is very cartoony, but it's gotta, <laughs> are you gonna it's go gotta for, fall off. Are you going for realism now all of a sudden? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. None of us do. Oh, well, Amanda does, but I don't. None of us? Stuff. Wow. I'm pretending. Yeah. You're really good at pretending. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the best at pretending here. That's all. Do a little flipper too. Yeah, you show me I, I how it's done. Put it there. That ooh, yeah, there you look, go. look, it looks done. <laughs> look at the other side. I need to this is a nasty color. I know. <laughs> Are you okay? Sometimes it happens. Stick it. It's really difficult getting this crease on the underside. 
filled in. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Just keep smoothing. Smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. That's pretty much what I learned from this. <laughs> um, it's like 10% is sculpting it, and then 90% is the smoothing out the lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's adding, smoothing, yeah. adding, smoothing. Until eventually you get to the fun part of like detailing it. Yeah. So, would it be weird if I had kind of like a split flipper like that? Or does that look weird? Should I smooth it? What do you mean? I have a split flipper. I'm just gonna smooth it. I'm just okay. They're pretty straight, aren't they? Flippers? Yeah. 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 It's like I've never seen a freaking animal before. You don't know what tongues look like. Yeah. I'm human. I've never seen the outside world. <laughs> I just stay in my office. They grew you. They grew me in a lab. If they found it, it was cheaper that way. Okay, starting to look better. There we go. <laughs> and one thing is that when you have two sides that you have to do is the unevenness that you have to deal with. Yes. It's a lot of flipping back and forth. Yeah. Um, it's handy if you're at a table to have a mirror also. Because mm. then you can just copy it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. And also you can see how much you've screwed it up. Yeah. When you see the mirror image and you're like, oh, oh man, the, those are not in the same place at all. <laughs> now, I know this said... Uh, our segment was going to be lunch crafting. <laughs> but we ate our lunch beforehand because we don't want bits of food inside the clay. Or vice versa. Or vice yeah. versa. I don't want to eat clay. Not really. Eat clay, love. <laughs> I have any feeling you're going to say that. That needs to be a shirt. Yes. Come on, work with me, buddy. This flipper is not doing what I want. Well, he isn't. Pointed. The flipper? A little bit. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Did a little. I think that looks more like a seal. Mine? Flipper? No, mine. Oh. But I'm going with it. There's... I mean, they're kind of similar? <laughs> is that. Pre you... Is that prejudice against seals and narwhals? <laughs> Oh. I don't know if prejudice is the right word. Yeah, I don't... Or I'm just ignorant of what they look like. <laughs> They're the same. They both live in the sea. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That means we could do Spongebob, too. He lives in the sea, too. Well, technically he lives in a pineapple, so... <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. We went there. All right, so how is that? I kind of wanted him to do a goofy dance. Where he's like, say what? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, he looks like he's, he's surfing on a wave. Yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to go for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he looks very seal-like. <laughs> I mean, should I add a horn still? I mean, would this ever turn into a narwhal? Yeah, sure. I mean, how, how's that? Oh, can't see it. That's pretty good. That's good. He's got a tongue and some fins. <laughs> <laughs> and a mouth. You're really helping. Yeah, I mean, mine doesn't have a tongue. It has some... I, I love it. You can see that. Some yeah, you got sort of fins. fins. I mean, it's not what I would do, but, you know, <laughs> good for you guys. Glad you think you're, you're doing well. <laughs> so, as a sculptor, what would you recommend that I need to do besides smooth out the insect's mouth? How do I smooth out at that point? It's, like, all deep it's in all, there. Yeah, there's, it pills up. Yeah. Um, that's when my favorite tool comes in, and you just flatten it down. Okay. Oh, or the, nice and the rubber tools yeah. are really good for that. You kind of yeah, take the I filling. Yeah, because I kind of destroyed his uh, tongue. Unfortunately. Oh, rip. Those hands are sticky. So the name of the game: sticky hands. Yeah, I flattened his tongue too much. That's tough. Nice little touch. Just gonna add this. So you mentioned before that if it's Thin, it's going to be semi-translucent? Yes. Once it bakes, you'll be able to see through it mm -hmm. a little bit. Do you have a name for your uh, your creature? I don't. Better think of one. Oh, now I'm on the spot. Yep. Oh, man. Everyone, think of a name quickly. Jeff. Jeff? <laughs> Jeff. Jeff the anglerfish? <laughs> okay. It just rings, I guess. I guess mine will be Lucille, because I was already talking about that. I don't think I've... Always change the name. Never. I guess. You, see, you only strike lightning once, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Amanda? Oh, man. Think of a name. This Come on I'm now. the worst. I'm the worst at names. <laughs> Well, you will have to come up with one. I will. Uh, <laughs> Wilhelm. Wilhelm? Wilhelm. That's pretty Very good. Nice. The narwhal. So you're actually going to be doing a narwhal. I don't know if I can do one at this point. Does that look like a narwhal to you if I added a horn? Why don't we add a horn and find out? I guess. Or it's a uniseal. Uniseal? <laughs> <laughs> it's a coilicorn. A coilicorn. All right, we're just going to be going for a couple more minutes. Yeah. We've hit our okay. hour mark. And, uh, this is the good side. This is the, the Dunnish side. Yeah. Uh, it's the lower third. I'm <laughs> Everything's backwards. Yeah, your right's your left, and your left's your right. Cats are marrying dogs. Yeah. I don't know how cameras work. I can put it in front of the main camera. Okay. Once we're done. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I don't think I made mine cartoony enough with its eyes. I made them very small. That's okay. Yeah. Anything's a cartoon. Can small. I see your eyes? Yeah. My one eye? Your one <laughs> Blinky. <laughs> Maybe his name's Blinky now. Maybe his name's Blinky now. All right, let me just try with a horn. I think your horn's upside down. Oh, shit. The, the small parts at the top. Yeah, I, I got it now. That's how horns work. Do they? Yeah. I don't know how science works. <laughs> Just, I'm not going to put it down yet, but would that look fine? It looks is like it? he's wearing a party hat. Right? Yeah. I like it. A Should I just he's make a party, it a party animal. Hat? I'll just make it into a party Yeah, hat. do it. Right, well. Yeah, 
done yeah. calling it for that side. All right, I guess we're calling it. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you want to go another hour. Yeah. I'm no. sweating. Yeah, so. I'm, it's yeah. pretty hot up here. Yeah. All right, so this is all our creations. Ta da! <laughs> Uh, can All we swap right. to the other camera? Uh, 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 oh god. It's, how does it work? <laughs> Mine's attacking Justin's. Yeah. Mine's giving a high five. Yes! <laughs> Very cool. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's close up this. Um, next week, we will... Um, well, actually, hopefully before then, I'll just do a quick video and show you how some of these came out. Um, and then maybe we can come back and uh, paint them. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but next week on Tuesday, we'll be doing another interview. And our guest is going to be Rochelle Perry. She's a very talented artist. Uh, she works at Cartoon Network correct, uh, currently right now. Tons of experience. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys join us then as well. Um, what are we doing this Thursday? This Thursday, we will be streaming episodes of Gumby, so be sure to follow us if you enjoy a lot of sculpting and clay. Yeah, this is actually kind of perfect. Yes, <laughs> it is a very uh, claymation-themed week, week yeah. with Sculpey. Oh, but nice. um, yeah, so be sure to follow us. Follow us on our socials to keep up whenever we stream, um, especially on our interview days. They're not going to be at the same time every time, so just make sure you're following us at Cabillion so that you know when we are streaming. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you once again, Amanda. This was a lot of fun, and I hope you come back so we can continue this uh, this crafting session. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. Uh, so until then, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Bye. You have survived the Cabillion HQ. Follow the channel.